Well, here we are, round two of the undergrowth, or as our German fans call it, the Untergrotten. <laughs> yes, is that um, how they say? And we've been blessed with the presence of the great James Seguiaro. Chico, how are you, champ? Good, mate, how are you? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Welcome, mate. Welcome. Senior. Absolutely. How you on? What's going down, mate? Give us a little rundown. I know you've spoken about it already, Heath, but you're going to have to really delve into it here today. Uh, well, uh, round one. Uh, on the weekend, uh, unfortunately, um, I broke my arm. I've uh, got scans yesterday and it's a clean break, which is good. So going for surgery tomorrow morning, um, put a plate in. What do they say a clean break's better than opposed to a fracture? Or um, I'm not too sure, actually. It might but be just a, a better way to yeah, it. Yeah, well, I think if, if it breaks, oh, sorry, I mean, if it breaks like that, it's pretty yeah, hard yeah. to, you know, yeah, to put a plate in or whatever. In, um, Plus, it, it could affect the tissues too yeah, if, it's, exactly. if it's broken. Oh, you're a doctor, yeah, right? Yeah. If, it's, if it's a clean one, it's not affecting the tissue. Yeah, that makes sense. No, I agree with that, Dr. So, yeah, senior. Um, mate, so did you hear a did you hear a crack? Yeah, um, I heard a bit of a crack. It was pretty much nothing in it, really. I was a bit of a, bit of a stiff arm and um, hit um, Kirk Baptiste's elbow yep. on one of my forearm. And yeah, I so heard a bit of a crack and I sort of twisted for a bit and didn't feel right. And uh, I think went on for uh, the rest of the set or whatever and uh, a bit of a stoppage and... I went for another tackle, and that's oh, when I was like, I went, felt went, 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 oh, went in the game. Yeah, felt yeah. Fortunately, it's on my right arm, so yeah, it's a good one. So it's lefty. oh, you lefty. Yeah, oh. I'm the right, so it's all lefty. Oh, you're right. Oh, wow. So, that's yeah. all right. That's all right. It's, uh, it's a bit inconvenient, but yeah, I have to do. It's uh, it can be a good thing sometimes, uh, <laughs> mate. Um, yeah. So tomorrow you get surgery, yeah. Tomorrow morning surgery, uh, five o'clock, and then yeah, off off it till about I think Monday. Yeah. Luckily with that. Um, it's only 45 minute surgery, a little minor surgery. Is, it, is that all it is? Yeah. yeah they're they're putting a plate in, are they? Yeah, a little plate in. Um, so it's that way they can, you know, sort of have a bit of a guideline. If, it, if they had to cast it, takes, you're not too sure about the body and take a while to heal. So yeah, that yeah. way to plate in, yeah, you know, yeah. six to eight weeks, that's a bit of a guideline mm -hmm. to, you know, train till. Okay. So you, um, yeah, six to eight weeks and then, yeah, what? that's before you can actually play again or is yeah, it yeah six weeks so i can play oh again, that's so all right hopefully on monday i'll be able back to you know running and do training yeah. but just not any pressure on oh, it oh well, wow so you can run pretty much straight away what, what about yeah. the the incision can't you not sweat for a while i remember no, I used to run it's with just that. stitches oh, doctor told me through just those um internal stitches yeah so no cast no nothing yeah um so well, which is that's that's great how good are they getting yeah, the i remember when yeah, yeah, yeah i remember when i was getting like operations and then the doctor would say oh maybe don't sweat for a couple mm. of weeks I'd be like what, what's that I can't sweat and I'd tell the train mate he said don't sweat <laughs> I couldn't do anything mate I can't do anything for two That's weeks best. and then we can start doing some light bike and yes. stuff like that but yes. arms good at least you don't lose your running legs you know because yeah. the worst thing is when you do a knee or something where you can't run yeah, it yeah. takes you that long to get used exactly. to running again exactly. eh? it's, so that's it's, yeah, it's not a bad injury compared to others when I guess. we used to break our hands and stuff like that we used to play on you just <laughs> know, tough way in the 80s yeah, yeah he's a tough yeah you would have went off for freaking three years you <laughs> 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 if I had a headache, I wouldn't play. Oh, yeah. geez, I used to get out the friggin'. I remember I said I had mud in my eye once, I couldn't train for <laughs> three months. <laughs> I come out with an eye patch on everything and just shaking their oh, head at me. Good. Mate, um, what I want to ask you, and this is weird because it yep. just goes straight off topic, but I was talking to Mark Mexico who played at um, Cronulla um, a couple of years ago when I was attempting a comeback, and mm. I was just sitting in the spa with him after training, and we what? had pants on, right. and we were just <laughs> having a chat. And he just started telling me about life in Papua New Guinea and, and you know, growing up. Well, you've lived over here for a very long time, obviously. Yeah, you, you're yeah. Australian. You're Australian citizen. You were, um, yep, got an Australian citizen um, Australia. Yeah, how just good's passed, that? Yeah, good's yeah, that? How good's that, Yeah, it was mate. awesome. It's great. Uh, Circle of Key, got to meet Governor General. Yeah. And whatnot. Uh, big ceremony, which is, um, it's an honour, you know, only oh, about 25 yeah. people get picked a year. That's but unreal, I'll, mate. I also got, I got asked to go down to, to do with the Prime Minister, but down in Canberra and, I wasn't too sure about training schedules and whatnot, but no time for the prime minister, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome, mate. That's yeah, really cool. Great. I have seen the photo and I like give me chills, you know, to see yeah, that. But um, Absolutely. mate, straight to the tough sticker shop for a Southern Cross tattoo, eh? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll head over after this. <laughs> no, but um, mate, um, yeah, I was talking to Mark Mexico uh, off topic there, and then we were talking about yeah life in in Papua New Guinea and. I started asking him, like, how crazy is it? Because I know I've seen those Prime Minister mm, mm. test matches uh, that they play over there, Prime Minister's 13, and there's no way in the world any of those players could just go out on the street and go, say, down to the corner store or whatever. Yeah, enough, enough of the pro Yeah, yeah. Um, is it that hectic? It's that, it? it's that pretty hectic. I remember when I went 
um, back up there, like, 2014, mm. my, 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 my dad's funeral passed away or whatever. And Sorry, it was man. sort of like, it's right. And then um, it's, it's sort of living like complexes. Complexes, so, yeah, yeah. like, so it's all guarded with, you know, barbed wire fences and that and around with security guards. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty dangerous. And um, This is when they're playing? Oh, no, oh, no, no. I'm just saying just in general living. Oh, some okay. Of them, okay. Uh, like yeah. some of the areas. But uh, I was just, you know, um, sitting sitting the sort of like veranda sort of bit with, you know, my cousins and that talking and um, someone walked past, yeah. like in the back, and they sort of walked past and then they walked back again and they took took a double, you know, double look yeah. and they seen it was me. Yeah. So then it, it was a little kid. He ran off and got like all these people and they came up to the fence and they're like, Singing out my name, and I had to go inside, like, cause, oh, yeah, cause it's so it. dangerous and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, and I want like, it, cause if he sort of, you know, if you give one of the kids like a, a jersey or something, that it's, it, they tell you not to. Hey? Yeah, they're not to, cause they get hit, they get knocked out and oh, they get hit, and, but you know, and cause it's just like gold up there, the jerseys or the, you know the, Mate, the merchandise is rugby league, and they love rugby league that much. Mm. I'm probably putting a bad spin on it, but it's actually it's a really beautiful place. Yeah, and well, you'll see that some of the bloody footage of where it's just beautiful. Oh, exactly. I'd love to actually go there. They say in the main areas. Yeah, well, like Port especially Portsmouth. where the where the boys stay and that, like yeah. it's all guarded security because they're so passionate that sometimes it like leads over to maybe not thinking properly and yeah, just exactly. overrun yeah, with the emotion. Yeah, hey? well, you know, you could just tell us like when we where we stayed um, at the Holiday Inn or whatever when we went to like all the staff and that it was just yeah. you know. It, they take a photo of us, but they take photo the next day, and they're yeah. so just like all in awe well, of like you know, like a god or something over what there. What do you so. think that is? What, what you know? Why so much rugby league, opposed to other sports, took off so well over there? Um, I think it's just the physicality of it. Yeah. Like rugby league. I mean, Papua New Guineans are real passionate people. Yeah. Um, like me when I play, I'm real passionate of my heart and sleeve sort. Yeah. People like that, and you know, it's it's a fast going game and it's yeah. good pace and it's real exciting to watch. Yeah. And it's just, it's just yours and edge of your seat. That's you know, true, right? it, it, and everyone's over there's got an opinion. Yeah, and they just love love the sport and uh, the local the local comps just. Oh, really, I see some, one of these, um, you know, the, like a little clip on Facebook the other day. Uh, it was just like you know, it's just the physicality of it. Just just two people just running straight at each other. Right. Just, like they didn't care. Like just grown mm. men, but they were just bashing each other. It's awesome. I was, I was saying to you before, Mark Mexico, he. he you training, yeah. and he'd have the pads, and the first few days we didn't know what he was all about and that, and he was just <laughs> taking heads off, and we were just like, and then it came, I remember coming to my turn to run, and they passed me the ball, I'm like almost crying, I'm starting to like shit myself and that, <laughs> and I just ran at him, and I was looking for an offload, yeah. there was no one over side, and he's just cleaned me up on the side of the hip, mate, it was like granite, like mm -hmm. hitting that hut, they just, they don't, the, the mentality is just bash, hey. Like, yeah, every, it just everything you got just into that single play. Oh. Whether to tackle or run, mate, it's it's phenomenal to watch, mate. The passion, yeah, mate. I'd love to actually get over there and see some of the land and, and oh, stuff, yeah. there's it's awesome. You'd love it because there's a surf school up at Munnells and a couple of surf school up there, and it's awesome because like uh, the, the rules there is only 20, 20, 20 blokes allowed on a, a surf at a time. Yeah, yeah. So right. the rules are like so it's real, real good up there and it's beautiful, untouched. Yeah, and, untouched. Yeah, un, yeah, un, yeah, not from the main like, from the main capital, like everywhere else is outstanding. Yeah. yeah. So right. when you were born, where? I was born in Garoka, yeah. which is in the Eastern Highlands. Yep. And my mum was from Rabaul. Yep. So the last couple of years, the uh, Prime Minister has been playing over in Rabaul, but now they've got a new stadium. Yeah. The Pacific Games, a couple of new stadiums in the main area. Yep. So um, how old were you when you came over here, James? I was six turning seven. Okay. So I moved over to um, Cairns. Yep. Up there in Far North Queensland, and um, lived there ever since. You, know, and you played footy from day dot, like for, 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 as soon as you could. Believe you all, no, believe it or not, I was my mum was like Seventh Day Adventist, so oh, yeah, we, yeah. Would, we went to church on Saturday, so we didn't weren't allowed to do certain yeah, things. That's until, right, yeah, that's right. Obviously, my old man used to play for the Cornwalls, and he took over. Like he just said, you know, I want the boys to play rugby league. So yep. when I was about you know eight, turning nine or nine. Right, I started playing and never looked back, mate. And um, with the Panthers this year, you um, how's how's Griff, the new coach, going? He's good. Yeah, mate, real good. Look, um, he's been every day. He seems to surprise me just every day, just about his philosophies and yeah. you know what's what's he like as a bloke and um, just just his um, sort of his goal. Yep. In the day when when, when um, Griffo came or Hook came to start of the club, it was really you know. Um, 
What's the word describe? Describe real new. Like yeah. when everyone gets a new boss, and, and yeah, you build a relationship yeah. with this, yeah. you know, someone else was yeah. like three, four years, and I was a real good mate with Ivan, and it was sort of you know um, I could have talked to him about anything I want. And yeah. Mm. When Hook came along, um, it was just like back to square one again, and it's, yeah. it's sort of hard. It's always hard for people to change or hard yeah. for, with new personnel, and you know just building on from that from November. Yeah. He's just trying to. Yeah, I've just built a great relationship with him and. You know, he's just someone that I look up to every day and just, yeah. just sort of you know, someone I was want to please every day. Yeah, that's that's great to have. So it's great. awesome. You know, every day seems to surprise me that's in the word way he's just you know conducts himself with you know his like I said like his philosophies and yeah. what what he wants out of an individual. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. like playing 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 the game and you know he just makes me want to play better and better. And, that's that's you know, a great trait for I a coach. Haven't, I haven't heard a bad word about him. No, the Broncos, everybody loved him. Yeah, and not only haven't person. heard a bad word, but everybody goes out of their way to say how good a bloke he is. Yeah, hey? yeah. and and just one of those guys, I guess, like a little bit like the Wayne Bennett vibe in terms of yeah, well, he gives a shit about people away from footy. Yeah, which mm-hmm. makes you a better person. If you're a better person away from footy, when you're in footy. You play better, don't exactly. you? Exactly. That's, that's that's one of his big rules. And as long as you you know happy outside of footy yep. and stuff like that, he always you know you know message. He sometimes swings a message here and there during the week. You know how how you going? Yeah. He doesn't need need to do that. That's but, awesome. You know, yeah. not, just knowing someone cares, it makes you feel more of part of the team. Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. with you know like blokes that are also like myself that are off contract or yep. you know blokes that are also on the fringes, um, you're always trying to look for that. You know, so that um, that you know. Uh, of being being involved, yeah, yeah. you know that, that yeah. feeling of being involved, and just the message and that it just makes you, you know. So you know, I feel a part of the team, and I feel yeah. I want I want to give myself to this team, yeah. and like know that I'm going to achieve something at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. mate, your buddy wear that all over your your, your forehead. It's it's, uh, it's a very passionate player, mate. Um, and I'm actually really looking forward to see what happens. Like obviously, mm. you'll be in talk with the Panthers, yeah. Yeah, oh, not not thus far, but I think you know, unfortunate with this, you know. I was um, yeah. hoping you know have a good couple of you know consecutive yeah. games well, start think, the season, yeah. but you you play a lot of years, James. Sorry. Oh, I'm 25. Yeah, 25. Jeez, you've got plenty, plenty of, plenty of life in you, mate. Now, mate, thanks very much yeah, for coming. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Guys. Appreciate, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate um, it. Yeah, shake your dodgy hand. Yeah. Your good hand. Thank um, you. Cheers, mate. Best, brother. Okay, appreciate so, it. Good luck. Thank you.